All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to use Kano properly with Raiden at the highest level because this is definitely one of the most popular cameos with this character at the moment. So yeah, I just want to show you guys how to do it properly. First thing I want to show off is going to obviously be his chip damage. He clearly gets this very safe, like some plus 15, very, very safe, good chip damage that he just always gets to throw out. It's going to be very difficult to mess this up. It's super easy to do. It's just one button to get him out. Like, it's very consistent stuff. He gets to come out all the time. You can make it safe. You can make it plus. You always get to be doing this thing. So, like, this is what makes Kano Raiden so strong. Is that alone. Because that right there just did 10% chip. Not only does it do 10% chip, but it's also plus. So, you get to enforce mix-ups after it. You get to enforce more frame advantage. You get to do even more chip damage. So, let me show you real quick what a true block string using Kano Raiden looks like against most characters. Thirty percent chip just because you started to block a forward two. That's also gonna eat through last breath on the final round. So like, it's just crazy good. All right. So another thing that I want to talk about is going to be the safe jumps that Kano gets. I'm currently controlling Liu Kang, and I have Raiden set to set up one of his safe jumps. So let's look at what's gonna happen if you try to do an up lock when Raiden sets up one of his safe jumps. Doesn't come out. And then Raiden gets to do all his chip damage. Now, if you try to do a delayed wake up, let me show you what happens. The timing works for both of them. All right. Now, let me show you what happens if you try to armor through it. It armor breaks. So that's going to beat out all three of those options. So it's very consistent to just really be able to get your pressure continuing. And Raiden already has such good frame advantage that he doesn't even need Kano. So once you get that jump in, you can do your stand two pressure. You can do your one two pressure. You could stagger a forward forward. You can do forward two two four into that just to get the guaranteed chip damage. Like after this jump in hits, there's absolutely nothing they can do. Raiden is just too oppressive to just be able to continue his turn non-stop even without doing his chip damage so let's say now if somebody gets hit in the middle of electromagnetic storm and you already call kano up so that you don't just get that knocked down let me show you what you can actually do there because let's be honest that happens so often where people just randomly get hit in the middle of it and you've already called up your cameo so now you just you get left with that so what you can do instead you can hold him and then guarantee yourself another safe jump all Volcano is just recharging. If they try to delay wake up on this, doesn't matter because that jump in is going to hit now. And if they try to armor it, big surprise, it, it armor breaks. Let's say that during this, he also happens to get hit by Kano whenever he's on the ground. What you can do is do this. You get a free teleport and now you're right back in their face. Whereas with other cameos, if they get hit in the middle of this, it could be bad for Raiden in a lot of circumstances. But majority of the time with Kano, it's not bad at all. It's just going to keep on continuing his pressure nonstop. Like if this ever hits in the middle of it, there's absolutely no point where it is not going to continue to be Raiden's turn. Now what's also good about Kano is he can get you kind of better combos. He gets you to confirm into an electric fly off of that for free. So you get a free 21% meter list, but it does use one of Kano. But you can also do the same here. So, guarantees you an electric fly. And then same sort of thing here. Gets you a free electric fly. But, in the corner, he can get you some pretty nasty damage if you do this. Thirty-seven percent for that, and then also in the corner you can confirm this meter list for even more damage. Just like that. So Kano's gonna get you some some extra damage on some of your combos if you really want to use him. But I'm not entirely sure it'd be worth it because it's a whole lot smarter to just kind of use Kano for this and for your safe jumps and to continue your pressure as opposed to get damage because Raiden's damage is like it, it's it's pretty solid it's not it definitely not what it used to be but it's pretty solid to the point where you, he doesn't really need extra damage so i think that it's just a, it's a whole lot more optimal to use kano mostly for this just so you can keep that pressure going because oh my gosh in the corner 
he is just a machine. You can mix up with stand two, throws, back two, because his throw gives him some pretty damn good Oki. Look at the position it puts him in off of his throw. Like, he's in a really good position just very consistently when he's in the corner. The pressure never ends against this character. So one thing that everybody knows with Raiden and they're getting sick of it is this sort of BS where you do a teleport. Oh, look, you can punish me now. Then you get hit by Kano Knives. He gets a full combo and it just keeps on Raiden's pressure. So as annoying as it is... It is completely real. There is no really amazing way to stop it, especially with the electric fly. Because look at the knockback that it has on Raiden. So they can't even down to you there. The teleport is not nearly as real. It still is real, but they need to hit that uppercut. Because if they don't hit that uppercut, they're going to get hit by the Kano Knives because I'm going to block it. They're in recovery frames. Kano Knife is going to hit them and then you get a 4-3-4. The teleport is the only one that isn't nearly as safe but just keep on going for the electric fly man it's gonna put you right in their face if they get hit by the electric fly cool now they're getting corner carried and then also puts you in range for four with two like all that was a real real block string every single bit of it there's even ways to hide it like you can do it when he's there dude you didn't see kano until the last frame even with the teleport you can essentially hide him like you couldn't even see Kano that entire time until the very, very end by the time you're already being hit by the knives. So the thing they have to look out for, they now have to watch your cameo bar to make sure that Kano comes out if you are doing it right. It's just, it, as annoying as it is, and as much as I hate to admit it, it's completely real, and there's nothing that they can really do about it. The best thing they can do in this situation right there is down for you that is by far the best thing they can do they can down four or down three you they cannot hit a down one or a down two unless they're playing sub-zero sub-zero's down one can reach but i mean it's a down one so like it's not that bad they're gonna a lot of people try to uppercut you there i do it i try to uppercut riddens all the time whenever they do this because i'm like oh if i just uppercut him he's gonna take more damage than i am but then your uppercut whiffs and then you get hit by the cano knives and now you're getting full comboed so it's like, it's just, it's, it's so BS, but it is so real. I, I hate it so much, but it's real. So definitely do it as like scummy as it feels to do. It also just works. So definitely do it. So one thing you do have to be aware of though, some characters, only a few can armor through Kano there and actually hit you. So you're going to definitely lose your turn. You're going to lose Kano for a bit and you're going to lose some health. But like I've said before, it's not entirely a downside in those matchups because you're forcing them to use their bar to take their turn back. So if they don't have any meter, you get to continue it. But if you are just like, hey, I have... 90% health they have 15 and they have one bar I want your meter so that way you're left with absolutely nothing and you're gonna lose a little bit of health because you're gonna get hit by Kano so it's just it's in it can be used in your favor but it is not always going to be good I mean it's it's genuinely going to be a bad thing for Raiden but my point being you can make it work in your favor still Another thing that you can do with Kano is you can intentionally do side switches like that. Now it's your turn. See, like you can, and then you can just keep it going. Like that stuff is pretty good as well. If you really just want to force a side switch, like let's say they're in the corner and you think that your throw is going to be a little too predictable. Now you can just go, uh, uh, A, now you're on that side. 
Like, there's nothing they can do about that. You can do it off of any string as well. And the last thing that I really want to go over is Kano recovers a whole lot quicker than other cameos. If you notice his cameo bar, watch how fast he recovers. That's a lot faster than Goro, I'll tell you that. He does it for both, so he recovers that quickly on the Kano ball, and then on the knives, he recovers just as fast. And if you even hold Kano ball, he immediately starts recovering. There is a little bit of tech there where you can hold him for a second so that he starts recovering even faster. Because look at the difference. It takes a long minute for him to start recovering there. But if you hold him for a second, he starts recovering immediately. So there is a little bit of tech. You can do it there, but um, is it? it's not entirely worth it. But it will work. So definitely beware of those characters who can punish it. Uh, but with all that being said, man, team is OP as heck. This is undoubtedly one of Raiden's best cameos. It took... I, I wasn't a believer at first, I'm gonna be honest. Because I thought that everything that he provided, Goral provided, but better. And then I really looked at the recovery, and Kano's recovery is a whole lot better. So I think it might honestly be better. Plus, Kano's gonna provide him those safe jumps. He's going to get the same chip damage, if not even more. He gets more frame advantage from it. He gets those extra combos. They're not quite as good as with Goro. The one thing that Goro does do better, Goro provides mix-up after forward 2-2 two, two, because he's got that forward 2-2-4, two, two, which is a low, and he's got forward 4-3, which is low-low. So, like, he, you can do back cameo with Goro to get that uh, overhead launch, but Kano doesn't really provide it. And, yeah, so Kano is definitely going to be one of his best cameos. So definitely get comfortable with him because he is freaking strong.